Good morning and welcome to Hump Day Hallelujah. I'm Pastor Scott coming to you from Ascension Lutheran Church in Citrus Heights. Today is uh, Wednesday and uh, this weekend is Memorial Day. Oftentimes the weather is a lot warmer than it is going to be this weekend in Memorial Day and it's oftentimes a, th a weekend that we uh, imagine that the summer season has begun um, this weekend, the weather isn't going to quite cooperate. Some people are probably happy for that. I could use a, a few more degrees uh, to make it feel like Memorial Day. But that isn't really the point of Memorial Day. Memorial Day is a, a day set aside where we remember those who gave their life fighting for what they believed in in service to their country. And that's important for us to do. I We spent some time on the East Coast and... Uh, one of the things I noticed was uh, Memorial Day um, seemed to make more of a difference in the community than it, than it does here. Um, in the week leading up to Memorial Day, flags were um, posted or installed on the, on the light posts in town. It was a small town in Connecticut, but it became obvious that the holiday uh, was approaching and then there was a parade on Memorial Day, which is used to actually officially be May 30th, now is celebrated on the last Monday in May, but that small town still did their parade on May 30th and still still does. So you got the, a feel, a sense of something different in the community as a reminder. Um, and this is my reminder to you. If you don't live in a community that, that provides those reminders for you, um, take some time this weekend to stop and reflect upon um, the, the, the gift of your, your freedom and uh, the, the gift that others have given to you by, um, by fighting for that. Um, but also this weekend in the life of the church, and that's in our civic life, in the life of the church, this Sunday is Pentecost Sunday, a Sunday when we remember and give thanks for the gift of the Spirit by which we have freedom as Christians, as followers of Jesus Christ. And so we remember this weekend um, in our worship, uh, the gift of the Spirit. Uh, we will encourage folks, those of you who are worshiping here, um, to wear red, uh, which is a reminder of, the, of the, the tongues of fire that sat on the heads of those who were gathered in that upper room as the, the rush of a mighty wind came blowing through and each person spoke in their own language, but were understood in the language of the hearer. A gift to be able to be to to hear God's word preached and to be received. The gift of the advocate that that John writes about uh, to come and dwell among us and within us to advocate for us to be the literal presence of God in our life. Through the gift of the Holy Spirit, we give thanks for the the gift of life, new life, true freedom through Jesus Christ, and we remember. The, the he too gave his life so that you and I might live in true liberty, no longer bound by, the, <clears throat> by the, the shackles of sin and death. For Jesus on the cross through the resurrection has overcome both sin and death for your sake and for mine. So during this busy three-day weekend, take time. Take time to remember those who gave their lives in service and take time to remember the gift of the Holy Spirit and the gift of everlasting life offered to you and to me through Jesus Christ. Hope to see you in worship on Sunday. You can sleep in on Monday and uh, look forward to seeing you, if not then, next Wednesday for another hump day. Hallelujah. Take care.